Freebies World and welcome back to the Mangapedia, our ongoing exploration of Japanese comics. This particular episode is a somber but important one, as we remember the life and numerous contributions of Kazuo Koiki. Koiki passed away this past April, but we couldn't let another month go by without acknowledging one of the most important figures in the world of manga. Koiki's signature was Lone Wolf and Cub with artist Goseki Kojima. Originally published in the 1970s Inside Weekly Manga Action, Lone Wolf and Cub was key in shifting manga from a mostly children's medium into one embraced by teens and adults. He also had a counterintuitive approach when compared to other manga creators of the time. Need an example? Compare Lone Wolf and Cub to another title featured in Weekly Manga Action, Lupin the Third. Lupin the Third's creator, Monkey Punch, went for a modern day, fun loving crime series, one starring a troublemaking hero that effortlessly appeared to rebellious late 60s youth. Lone Wolf and Cub, on the other hand, starred Ito Ogami, a samurai living centuries ago within a now vanquished social order. He was stoic, old school, and a dad. Ogami and his son were also rebels and vagabonds, fighting against a corrupt power structure that had marked them for death. Lone Wolf and Cub proved to resonate despite its lack of a modern backdrop. The series had been credited with broadening the reader base for manga in Japan during the early 70s, in many ways paving the way for the format's widespread acceptance today. Koiki's outreach to new generations didn't just stop there. The writer was an educator who taught manga as something you must write, not only draw. Koiki was the personal teacher of Rama Haf's Rumiko Takahashi, Vampire Hunter D's Hideyuki Kokichi, and others. But Lone Wolf and Cub wasn't done breaking new ground. Years later, in 1987, it became the first manga series to be published monthly in English. Then, in 2000, Dark Horse released the entire series straight to graphic novel, a publishing approach that would become the industry standard. You can discover more about Koiki by visiting your local comic shop. There you can discover other works by the author, titles like Crying Freeman and Lady Snowblood. Speaking of more manga, every month we give away a manga prize pack to our viewers. So, this month's question is, what magazine was Lone Wolf and Cub originally published in? Comment below and let us know. Good luck and be sure to follow Previews World for more Mangapedia and more chances to win. Hey Previews World, did you enjoy this video? Then let's be friends! Follow Previews World by clicking that subscribe button.